get to that point where our camera is going to show you that total, we're just going to be quiet. So yeah, we're, we're going to we're gonna let you it. enjoy it. I'll probably snap a few pictures. It's getting even darker yet. Oh my goodness! Yes, you I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get another shot here. I mean, Karen, it's getting close. It is it getting is really, getting close. really close. It's 147. What time's that totality? Totality is about 150. Okay, so we're just a few minutes away. You know, here's something else that I thought it is so interesting. I looked at some of the history behind in ancient times. Did you know that when there were total eclipses going over America, Native Americans actually were fearful and they fired flaming arrows at the sun trying to reignite the sun. I thought that was just a really interesting fact. One more. Uh, in 585 BC, um, there were two battling armies and they had a total eclipse and, and as it became dark, they saw that as a celestial omen to lay down their weapons and make peace. It's incredible. I mean, it has that much of an emotional uh, experience to people and uh, we're about ready to witness it here. It's getting very close now. What's our time? We're still, I've still got 147 on my phone. We're getting very close. It's really starting to get dim really getting dim. So in this three minutes before totality, they say that if you are up on a rise, you can actually watch for the ambient light to change and you can see the shadow of the moon crossing over. If yes. You, if you're just in the right spot. And let me tell you, oh gosh, this is just... It's very eerie right it now. It is very eerie. It is very Marissa, eerie. can you shoot down that way for us and just show, you can see behind us My people goodness. just looking okay. up at the sun. Now, what we may want to look for is we start getting this small crescent is what you call shadow banding. I haven't seen it yet, but look for shadow banding. People are getting excited. We are showing you the eclipse full right now so you can watch as the moon obliterates the sun momentarily. We've got some high level cirrus clouds filtering across right now. We're almost there. It's getting very close. Getting very close right now. We just want you to watch and observe changes overhead. pictures it's unbelievable unbelievable oh my goodness in the distance you can see what looks like dawn or sunset off in the horizon but here where we're standing it is pitch dark
my goodness. I see people holding hands. I see a couple with their little girl, arms wrapped around each other. One boy just said to the teenager next to him, we're so lucky to be a part of this. You can literally see momentarily this that's moon crossing over sun, corona, halo of light, diamond effect shooting off from the sun's atmosphere. sure what that bright spot is up there if it's like a prominence or something you see that the like on yes, the, on the bottom like a, it's side it's almost like a flare on the yeah bottom. you know nasa will be tracking that with oh, all of their scientific instruments and finding out what exactly that is if you notice now it's starting to get a little bit more light here on the south horizon so we're getting closer to the end as you oh, now oh diamond rings there it is the sun reappearing on the other side my goodness shape of a diamond ring seeing it come to an end Oh my goodness. I had a great time. you have a good time? Oh my goodness. So you can see. Here comes the light back. The eclipse and the crowd. People just, we're all in awe of this moment. Oh my goodness. So I, for those wow. brief moments, you really could look. And when you looked through your glasses, you couldn't see anything. Unbelievable. I'm, I'm you know, starting to hit me here. Um, what, what I'm excited about too, I mean, I, everybody's excited here. Um, one of the things that I, when I saw it in 2017, um, I told my mom and dad that you have got, and, and they live in totality, so we just got totality here. They live in Evansville, Indiana, and it's on their way in just a few more minutes. And that was beautiful, and, and, and uh, they're going to see it, and I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. You know, when I was reading about this, I didn't really think that this was going to impact me that much, but you were right. It really is something worth seeing. I can see why they call them Umbra files. I can see why once you've had a glimpse of that, why you would want to keep chasing it yes. over and over around the world. I mean, that is incredible. It's unbelievable. And it's and we had a perfect, like, it was lined up perfect with our street. I don't think I'm going to have very good photographs, by the way. <laughs> At least the ones from back there. But I think I got some good ones zoomed in here on this camera. But that being said, it, that doesn't even matter. You know, it's just what we experienced here, witnessed here with, with Russellville. Um, my goodness. And, and light, it's amazing. The light's coming back. Street lights now uh, street lights have back turned off. back off. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. It, it just, it happens so quick.